Here for you with 6 News at 11. No, here is uh, Jackson. Some tense moments tonight at the Jackson Public School Board meeting after a member's controversial tweet on whiteness causes quite a stir. It's our top story tonight at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. More than 100 people packed tonight's Jackson Public Schools Board of Education meeting where some are calling for the removal of board member Keisha Hamilton. Others supported Hamilton and her tweet that she wrote back in December that called the concept of whiteness evil. Josh Sanchez has more on this tonight. Josh. Sherry Siobhan, it was first reported by our media partners over at MLive that the tweet was included in flyers found around Jackson that had what included to be what looked like to be the logo of far right group the Proud Boys on them. Now, while tonight's meeting did not have Hamilton's comments as part of the agenda, the Board of Education meeting was packed with extra security and speakers. Last December, Jackson Public Schools Board of Education member Keisha Hamilton tweeted, Whiteness is so evil it manipulates, then says, I won't apologize for my dishonesty and trauma-inducing practices. The post has been viewed more than 1,000 times, leading to a crowd at tonight's Board of Education meeting. Some people who spoke called for Hamilton to be removed from the board. Our skin color is apparently evil and dangerous, according to one board member. Perhaps more than one board member. We would all like to find out who else defines my family, and ancestors as evil and dangerous. While many others spoke out in support of what Hamilton said. It is about systemic racism and that that has created disparities that you've heard all about tonight. Change is hard and, 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 and people speaking up for change is, is difficult. Some, some, uh, some things need to be said, they don't want to be heard. Speakers drew both cheers and boos from the crowd, and at one point, things even got physical. One speaker was pushed by an audience member, and police had to intervene. According to M Live, Hamilton says she used the term in context provided by the National Museum of African American Studies, which describes whiteness as a standard by which all other groups are compared to. At the end of the meeting, Hamilton addressed the criticism while also thanking those who supported her. Now, no actions were taken in regards to Hamilton's position on the board. In fact, several fellow board members say they support her actions. Sherry, Siobhan. Josh, thank you.